Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at the Sumika Garashi water and we need it because whew, is it hot? It is really hot here right now. So we are going to play with the Sumika Garashi water. A lot of you have been asking for it um, since you saw that I got it. So here we are finally. Um, I haven't played with it too much uh, because obviously I was going to do a video on it but I've familiarised myself with it. So yes, um, with the Smukugurashi water uh, we do need to keep it as upright as possible. So that's why we've got a different background. I've had to move my, um, what do you call that? The thing that holds the camera tripod <laughs> I've had to move my tripod and my light so things might be a little bit different so yeah you've got a different view of my desk right now <laughs> ignore the background as much as you can if it's bothering you so yes we have the Sumuku Garashi water and what makes it water is that when you turn it there is water in there can you see that and here you go, now we are underwater. I'm sorry for the glare. Um, it is a full screen right across. So it's not just this area, it's the whole thing as you can see. So we might be catching quite a bit of glare today only because there are a lot of um, games where we have to turn it. So with that said, let's get into the Sumikigurashi water. Um, so first of all, we're going to go look through our characters. Um, so as you can see, as the same as the last ones, we have our happy heart and our food meter here. Um, and they are very low because they deplete very quickly, extremely quickly. Um, as you can see here again, a depleted food and happiness. And we have a runaway character. So when you don't look after your characters um, to the best of your abilities, sorry, um, it they run away. Um, they don't die, so don't worry, but they do run away. So when they run away, all you need to do is press the, uh, the pink button with the face on it and go over to the pink. Pink means yes, blue means no. That's how I remember. <laughs> and then we need to tip it upside down. And there he is outside in the rain, shivering. And then we can turn it back. And he's back. Poor little penguin. Oh, okay, so they are back and happy. They're all there. So let's go and we will do penguin. So let's see how he's doing. So with First of all, we have food, um, and obviously, as you know from all the other um, Sumiku Garashis, um, you collect your food and buy it with um, coins that you earn from the games. So, these are the foods that I've unlocked so far. What would Penguin like to eat? I guess fish. We'll try the fish. I haven't figured out what their favourite foods are. Okay, so the fish actually isn't his favourite food. Um, he'll have hearts instead of music notes. Um, when it's his favourite, he'll have hearts. So that's food. We'll try another one. What do you think he would like? Oh my goodness. We'll try the sandwich. Okay, I hope you can see this all right, guys. It's very tricky to show this one. That is why the I haven't done a video sooner. I did try it before and it just wasn't showing up on camera very well. So I didn't. But you guys are asking for it. So we'll do it. Okay, there you go. That is his favourite food. And the food meter will slowly go up. But it is extremely slow. Um, it goes up bit by bit. And obviously by giving him his um, food and looking after him, you can unlock clothes, which is right here on the bow icon. Um, so, so far, I've got a chef hat. Um, and that is it. <laughs> I've unlocked the chef hat. That is, it's quite hard to collect the clothing in this one. Uh, in this device, you can't get room decor, unfortunately. So you can't decorate the room. 
and then we have the petting again this goes up very slowly um, and you press the shells and um, here to stroke him and it will go up and up and up and you keep on doing that to make him happy when his house is dirty and there are dust sprites everywhere you need to clean them up I'll show you what that looks like so we have the dust sprites here and it's telling us to turn the device upside down here so let's turn the device upside down and it will fill up with water you can see the water's in there and then it's telling us to shake the device so if we shake it around <laughs> Okay, and it's telling us now to turn it right way up. And the water will go back down and he's all clean. You just have to ignore the water drops. <laughs> As you can see on the screen. The screen's a bit wet now. Okay, so we've done that. And then there's showering. So we'll give him a shower. Again, it's telling us to turn the device upside down. So back upside down we'll go it will fill up with water and then it's telling us to press the shells to scrub him clean okay and now it's saying to flip him back up and he is all clean now okay so up next We've done petting, we've done the food, we've done the cleaning, and we've done the showering. So that is how you look after your Simuku Grushies. And you can also do a fun thing where is if you press the star to get out of the menu, flip it upside down, they will just swim around in the water, which I think is super, super cute. <laughs> okay, so let's flip him back up. And I wanted to show you my favourite character, as you all know little guy oh my gosh I love him but his bathing thing is so funny <laughs> so he goes into a pot and instead of water it's oil so the oil will rise and then you need to wash him in the oil <laughs> I just thought that's really, really cute that they added that. Okay, so once you've made all of your characters happy or happy enough as much as you are happy with it, you can press the star to close the menu and press the star again to come out into the world map. So in the middle here, we have the Simukagurashi search. This is how you look for your uh, stickers or cards, whatever you want to call them. I call them stickers. Here is the home, so that's where we've just come from. Here is settings. So in settings, we have the um, calendar to set your day, uh, the clock to set your time, brightness. Um, I'll show you now. So we are on five right now, and. There we are. It's hard to tell right now because I have my lights on. It is a dramatic change in person. Um, but yeah, because I have the studio lights on, it's, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really show that much. Okay, and we have sound. So we are on three right now. Four, five, and zero. Okay, so that's that. We'll put it on three. And we have the question mark, which is the place where you can put in codes to unlock special stickers. So you'd basically go along and add in the characters. And okay, and that didn't work. Um, because that's not a correct code so you need to put them in the order in the correct order to get the special sticker and then obviously that um, curly arrow is the reset button next up we have the library same as the other ones we have the library for um, the Samuku Garashi um, ones that we've caught um, so all the characters 
with all the stickers that we've caught so far. So let's go on to Neko. Um, I've caught a couple, but not many. So you can catch 19 of each character, but on the little, on these little guys, you can catch 36. So that's super fun. There's lots to find. Um, up next, we have the traps. So these are the traps that I've unlocked so far. And there's two pages of those. And I've still got some to purchase and unlock. And then lastly, we have food. Um, this one's got a star on it here. So it means that that was a new food that I recently brought. Or is it this one? This one, sorry. That's a new food that I recently brought. So that's all my food. And up next we have, so you use these to cycle through, by the way. Up next we have market. So off we go with our little coin purse, just like all the other ones. Off to the market. It's super cute. Okay, and here you can buy your traps and your food. So here are all the traps that you can use. And here are all the foods that you can buy and unlock. Okay, so let's go over to the games. So this little submarine down here is the game section. So let's go in there. So first off, this game gets me every time. You basically need to um, hide um, Tokage needs to hide under the water basically um, it's kind of a game of hide and seek um, and he is hiding from the other two that are up on shore so every time they look in your direction you need to duck under the water but the noise it makes when his face slaps the water gets me every time so let's play this game so there's easy medium and hard um, and that will relate to the money that you earn so easy you'll get a hundred medium you'll get two and hard you'll get three hundred so let's play hard so they're not looking did you hear that little splat it made and when they look away you can turn it back That little splat noise <laughs> is so funny. Okay, we did it. So this is why we need to have the device upright um, because if it's tilted or slanted in any way, it won't allow you to enter the game. So we do need to keep it as upright as possible. Next up is basically a sandcastle, like, breaking game. So you need to wreck the sandcastle. <laughs> and we are playing as Neko in this one. So again, we'll go in on hard. And we need to press these two when it gets through to those. So we missed one. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> So you need to be quite quick. I think we might lose this game. Yes, we lost. So yeah, you actually play against Neko there. Okay, up next we have the Watermelon Finding One. I'm making up the names here. Um, I do have the instructions, obviously, but I've, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I don't know the official names to these games. So this one is different on the... Um, easy to hard and I'll show you both of them so on the easy one the watermelon's right there so we have an arrow here that we can cycle through if you notice here we have left or sorry right left down and up so we need to go up because there's a crab there then it'll go on to the next one so at this point we need to Oh, we need to, <laughs> oh my goodness, I just cycled right past it. Oh my goodness, I did it again, there we go. Left, and let's do left again, and let's just say left again, and then down. And then you can press okay, and he will go and get it. 
and it will cycle through your path that you created. And get the watermelon. <laughs> it's super cute, but the harder level is a little harder, or a lot harder. Okay, I'll show you. On the hard level, here we are, it is a lot further away. So, we obviously need to come back this way right now. Then down. Then I think down again. Left. Left. And then to see the rest of the map, just tip it and you'll see where you need to go. So let's just continue going left. And hope that we don't hit into that rock. Okay, at this point, I think I'm going to actually go down. Then, there, sorry, it's backwards for me. Okay, do we go up? Yes, we go up. Let's go up, up again. Oh, then, oh my goodness, that one? And then should we say okay? Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. Okay, yep, down. Down again. Oh my goodness! I should have gone up! Oh, poor thing. Oh no. Okay, we did not get that one. See, that one's a little bit harder. I have been able to do it um, quite a few times, but it is quite hard. Another thing, as you might notice, if I can get it on camera, can you see the condensation? happening on the screen so that does happen when the water droplets are there um it's very warm in here right now i've got the lights on obviously um so yes that can happen that is a a thing that happens but you can just shake it to get it away the the thing is is maybe if i was to take this guard off and take the paper out it might concentrate more on the screen because at the moment my camera is just wanting to focus mainly on this unfortunately okay so and up next we have this little guy in a boat or a rubber ring sorry and we will do hard level okay so it's telling us to turn the device upside down And we need to make sure that he doesn't fall out of the boat. So when it tells you, oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> he tipped upside down. That's why we need to keep the game um, completely upright as much as possible. So let's try that again. Let's do easy. Let's turn it upside down. I'm going to have to keep it as upright as possible, guys. Okay. Okay. So when he starts to wobble, we need to make sure that he doesn't fall in. Okay, he's tipped again. I do have it at a slight angle because if I was to hold it straight, it would look like that <laughs> and you wouldn't see much. But you get the idea. When he starts to wobble, you need to balance him until he stops wobbling. Um, and then you will basically go along the water and get to the other side. So that's basically what that one is. This one I actually really enjoy. So let's do, let's do medium on this one. So you need to press it when the musical notes happen and on that one you need to turn it. So you need to press the shells. And turn. Okay, so that is that one. I think that one's super cute. And we got 300 coins for that one. And up next is the fortune telling one. So we need to turn it upside down. And turn it again. And we get our fortune. 
and 40 coins. I think it's a fortune. I'm not 100% sure, but we get something and a little bit of money. Okay, so that's all of the games. So now let's go on to the search. Oh, also I wanted to show that um, if you go into this area, you can also turn it into water so that you are under the water and all the icons change. And so this is the button that we need to press here, but it will tell you that you can't do that. So we do need to change it. Okay, so let's attempt to catch some Sumukagurashi. So the first one is unlimited. As you can see, there is the infinity symbol there. So we get that one for free. So here comes Penguin. And we need to catch him in that. The naughty little fellow. Come on. Catch him, catch him, catch him, catch him. Okay, let's see what sticker we get. Oh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, that's adorable. Okay, let's go on to the um, sushi roll. I think it's the same thing with this one. Yes, we need to press the um it will prompt you of what to press or what to do okay what did we get we'll be getting a lot of new ones because i haven't actually caught that many characters oh so cute that's adorable okay now the umbrella okay so this one we have to turn upside down And then turn it back. Oh, okay. So obviously we didn't do that fast enough. <laughs> okay, so let's try that one again. Some of them can be quite tricky um, on this device, I've noticed. What? Okay, I'm not sure. I think it's because I am slightly tilting the device um, and I'm not keeping it upright. Um, this is as far as I can set my um, tripod, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, up next, we have some soy sauce. Oops. Okay, cute. So adorable. Okay, what did we get? Oh, she's got some sweets. So cute. Oh, okay. So when it does this, do not fear. <laughs> Just press this button again and then flip it upside down because we're getting a mystery character. Okay, it's not recognising that I flipped it upside down. <laughs> okay, so let's start just shaking anyway. This is what you would do. Oh, there we go. So you'd flip it upside down. To unlock your... Oh, that's so cute. It's like a mouse dust sprite. Oh my goodness. I've got a lot of water on my screen now. Let me just try and clear some of it. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay. So let's try, hmm, let's try these headphones. I'm very curious to see what we'd get. Come on. So cute. Oh, it's like a spaceship UFO paint palette. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, and you can just keep on going, collecting um, Smikagrushis all day long and obviously um, 
caring for your Sumaku Garoshis as well and unlocking clothing for them. We've got another runaway here. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are they like? So let's go and pick him up. Oh, come back you. <laughs> okay, so that is the Sumaku Garoshi water it is super super cute i love it so so much and i love the speaker um port on it it's so cute and yes they do come in another color there is one that comes with pink and if you didn't see my last video i will just show you now that you can take this off and also swap them out for different ones so you can change them however you'd like. Okay, so for my final thoughts on the Sumika Gurashi water, I love it so much. I love the aesthetic of it and um, the, the, the water aspect to it. I think that is super, super, super cute. Um, my camera is definitely not doing it justice right now. Let's turn down the brightness a little bit while we're doing this. I think it's just my lights just aren't agreeing with it. <laughs> okay, so we have got a couple more runaways while we were playing there. But yes, I love the Sigma Kurigurashi water. It is super cute. Um, there's about, as you can see, there's the water level on it. So that's how much water is in there. But when you tip it upside down, it is a decent amount. Um, but obviously you need to kind of keep an eye on those water bubbles because you do get water bubbles on the screen and it can cause a little bit of condensation. So what I normally do is I just give it a bit of a shake around and turn it, um, just keep on turning it to try and, you know, get the water away. Um, the one thing I don't like about it, um, and this is the first time I've actually been truthfully like saying, well, I'm always truthful, but I, I've never actually said anything bad about a Tamagotchi or a device or a V-Pet because I do love them all genuinely. I never have a bad thing to say, but this is like... I actually have something to say about this one and that is the buttons they are as you probably would have heard they are very very loud they really really do click if you can hear that whereas on other ones they're silent and this one also completely silent but on this one, they're very loud and it can, for me, be a little bit off-putting um, because it's just, you know, when you've turned the volume down and you're wanting to play your device quietly, maybe um, you're making all these clicky noises <laughs> and it's a little bit too much. But I still absolutely love it. I love it in my collection, but I would still say that it stands that this one is still my favourite. Smoker Garashi. But we'll see because we have the new Sumakagurashi Friends coming out uh, this month. So that is exciting. Um, yeah, whenever you see it, it's um, July. Um, so yeah, this month coming. We are getting the new Sumikagoshi Friend um, Plus because there's already been one. So make sure that you don't get tricked because um, there are two of them now. Well, there's going to be two of them now, um, but one of them has a little bit more to it. You can really see that condensation there right now. It looks like a little face just help me. <laughs> and it's right spang, bang, spang, bang, smack in the middle. So that I can't actually, like I'm going to have to shake it up. See, that's what I do. And then we kind of, oh, now we've got a line. <laughs> but if you just keep on going around, they will eventually 
just keep turning it gently to get rid of the bubbles. You will eventually get there. But yes, there is a bit of a, a water bubble problem. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love Smoky Garashi and I still love my water, even though the buttons trigger me a little bit. So yeah, with all that said, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you are enjoying the channel in general and you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out. And with all that said, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.